<laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, Joshua here to bring you a Batman Arkham Knight review. So, uh, an overall score, uh, six out of ten. Uh, usually, I when I get games, I just give it a ten out of ten. And then when I find problems, I just minus it along the way. So, 6 out of 10. Let's get straight into it. The Batmobile. There is way too much Batmobile. Now, I understand it's the first game with the Batmobile. The, f the first three games is just Batman, and they want to bring in something new. But they use this shit way too much. Like, you, you get in the Batmobile, you fight drones with no one in it, and just... This, there's so many side missions with the Batmobile. Like, you want to fight Firefly? Get in the Batmobile! You want to track some car down? Get in the Batmobile! You want to disable some mines in Arkham City? Ar in Gotham? Get in the Batmobile! You want to make a toast? S fucking get in the Batmobile! There's too much Batmobile. They spent, they spent way too much time in, in the fucking putting it all in the Batmobile. They put all these little fucking boss fights. They you get these these mamba tanks and then just like oh god it's so bad like there's just too much Batmobile there's way too much okay so that's a minus three points so let's get into the other topic there is one boss fight in this entire game now you're really thinking like what? one boss fight? this is a batman game how can there be no games with boss fights? Now, I know I'm being a little nitpicky here with the boss fights, but I don't want to be just bouncing around Arkham City, you know, knocking people out and talking to people and fucking bo sucking Alfred's ass. I want some boss fights. That's why I like Arkham Origins, because every villain you come across, you get to fight them. You get to fight Bane like four times in that game. But in this game, you just get to fight the Riddler. And that's only if you like get all the Riddler trophies there's no boss fights you wanna fight the again you wanna fight Deathstroke get in the Batmobile you wanna fight the number one villain in the game get in the Batmobile <laughs> there's way too much Batmobile there's no there's no boss fights there's no the closest you can get to fighting the Arkham Knight is that one where you jump down from the ceiling and you choke him and you Batman says who are you that and the Arkham Knight goes not yet and that was the perfect time for a boss fight but they said nope no I'm not giving you a chance to fight with the Arkham Knight I'm putting you back in that Batmobile and you are going to kill more you're going to destroy more drones <sighs> it's just there's no boss fights it's so stupid now that Alberto foul that no no that the Alberto King Whatever, that wasn't no boss fight. Well, I guess I guess it could, but it wasn't, you know, satisfying. That pig, I, like, there's two, you know, villains in this game that are just so random. Like, if it's the, if it's the very last bad Arkham game you're ever gonna make, can you at least, you know, bring back Bane or Zaz or something? And let me get in the DLC here. All right, now this might take a while. The uh, the three Batman games, there are no DLC. Now that's fine, okay. But in this game, there is DLC. It's there's an expansion pack where you get to fight the Mad Hatter and kill a Croc. Now, if you get that expansion pack, there is more a little more boss fights. But I'm talking about the game. I'm not buying anything else. No, it's like you you want to have more boss fights. Buy. You you want to fight Killer Croc? You gotta buy. You gotta buy the DLC. They're just asking for more money. You know, I I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered Batman, and I got the Scarecrow. I got the short, but sweet Harley Quinn pack. I got some three sweet skins that really make the day the game different. Now the Scarecrow Nightmare missions were so disappointing. Well, you know why? Because you're in the Batmobile. Now, in Arkham Asylum, there is a challenge map where you could go in a Scarecrow Nightmare, and it was a challenge, you know, it was a challenge. But in the Arkham Knight, 
you're in a tank fighting drones. Like if I wanted to fight drones, I would go to the AR challenge. That's another disappointing thing. It, like once you beat the game, like I purposely take my time with the game because like once you're done with all the missions, like once you once you're on that final track of the Riddler, because you know that last one's fucking hard as fuck. But you know once once I beat the game, it's like what now? You know that, but that's what's all games. But the thing is with Arkham City, yeah, and uh, Arkham Origins, there's there's snipers on rooftops. You can knock them out and then go to some other rooftop and then come back down and then you can fight them again. But with the Arkham Knight, they're all on the ground. There's you might get lucky and find like four people with guns, but that's it. You know, I don't want to go to the AR challenges to do that. No, I want to go in the game itself. Like if you want to have fun, for like. 20 you want to have 30 minutes of more fun you got to buy the the season of infamy you can do the mr freeze the mad hatter and the killer croc like why isn't that in the game itself that is so you know cheesy I, i've never seen a batman game do that i don't want no dlc in batman no all right so now i want to talk about you know just just little minor points just just what i want i just want to tell you what i wanted i kind of wanted to you know go back to arkham city while in Arkham Knight, whenever I wanted, I wanted to go back in Arkham Asylum. Like I, I liked how at the end of the game you went back to Arkham Asylum, like you finished it where you started. That's kind of cool. But I want to, you know, go there whenever I want. I want there to be side missions in Arkham City. You know, that'd be cool. And like maybe one or two small side missions in Arkham Arkham Asylum, because that place is like fucking s small as fuck. That'd be pretty cool. And uh, so I pre-ordered the game. I got uh, the three Scarecrow side missions which are very disappointing and I got this short but sweet Harley Quinn pack and I got some three skin packs that really make the game juicy uh... let's talk about the scarecrow m you know missions fucking shit y you know why? because you're in the Batmobile everything in this game is going in the Batmobile get in the Batmobile it's just everything even the side, even even the scarecrow mission itself, it, you're you're fighting drones. You know, it, it's cool. You know, seeing scarecrow in that nightmarish look and seeing Gotham like just like the the fear cloud gas in the story that was pretty cool. The story in the game was all right. You know, the graphics were cool. Um, yeah, scarecrow my side missions were were not. They were not good. They were very disappointing. Cause it's Batmobile. Like, don't you think I have enough Batmobile already in the game? Ah, uh, now another thing th that should have been in the game was snipers. Now I know, in uh, there's some you know there's some people walking around the streets with guns, but that's 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 rarely, and they're on the ground. Like you know, in Arkham City, you can uh, you can knock someone out and then go to some other rooftop and then come back and they'll be on they'll be conscious again. You get to fight them again. That'd be cool. But the only way you can do that is doing the militia. Now it sucks because you can only do that, you know, while while the side mission is going. Once you beat the side mission, it's like you you can't do that anymore. That's why I purposely. I purposely take my time with the game. Like I, I kind of like just just fly around. Like oh man, this is fun. I I take my time during the game just, just to have fun. Just like the the DLC. Like if you want to have fun for like 30 more minutes, get get the fucking expansion pack. Uh, now the the car fights, the Batmobile fights are very disappointing and cringy, cringy as fuck. Now let's start with the Arkham Knight boss fight. Very disappointing. When I first played the game, that was the most I I've uh, I stayed up. I stayed up until 2 a.m. playing this shit. And the Arkham Knight boss fight was horrible. It's just you know you don't actually get to fight the Arkham Knight, of course, because fuck us, right? Cause we we wanted to fucking see a boss fight between Batman and Arkham Knight. You know I wanted the Arkham Knight to be a really hard character to beat, but turns out. His car is really hard to beat, and it, it's just so stressful. With, with that boss boss fight, it's just basically a game of hide and go fucking seek. You you hit him. No no no. First you scan. You scan one side, and then if he sees you, you gotta run away. 
which is very hard to do because when he chases you, when the Arkham Knight sees you, the screen like zooms back, and it's so hard to fucking see. And then you just keep you just keep scanning him, and then you get to you get to shoot him. Yeah, you get to shoot him in the sides, and then you you hit and run, which is so boring. Like you just hit him, and then you run away. And then once you disable the gun that kills, that can just rip the Batmobile to shreds. Then you, then you can fight him. No, no, no. Then you can destroy the tank. But then, you know, you, keep in mind you're fighting this while you're in, you're in the fear gas. You, once you, once he comes out of the, you know, the tank, he's tired for some reason. Like it was really hard doing that. And then you, you grab Batman, takes him, and grapples up, and then like his mind fucks with him or something. And then it's, it turns out it's not the Arkham Knight. Like what? What? Why? Joker is just ruining the game. First, he fucks you with that pick the real scarecrow game, and then now he's fucking with you. He's like, you, you wanna, you wanna see the fucking Arkham Knight boss fight? Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha! You're not getting no boss fight. Fuck you. Oh god. And then the Riddler. I like kind of like the idea in Arkham City about Riddler taking hostages, but he takes Catwoman. Why? And then he builds race tracks for him. Now I understand, you know, race tracks would be fun in the game if it was, you know, like challenges, challenges. You know, that 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 that'd be cool. But Riddler, he makes race tracks. What? I mean, the first couple race tracks are kind of cool, but the very last one, I just cannot fucking beat. I hate the last one. It's so stupid because this was one where you have to drive like in the side of the of the fucking like building. And you have to like maneuver down while you're in the air, and it's just so fucking difficult. Oh god. So, in conclusion, it's just there's no, there's hardly any boss fights. It's way too much Batmobile. Way too much Batmobile. No, I. There's no fist fights. There's just there's a couple. You know, I do like the new combat with you know the the big guys with the. The, you know, sharp swords or whatever, and the shield and the the the, the stun sticks. Those are kind of cool. And then when people charge at you, and the fear takes on. That's kind of cool. I like the combat. Let's talk about the things I like. I like the combat, the graphics. Yeah, graphics are amazing. You know why? Because it's PS4. Um, the combat is pretty cool. The scarecrow design is really awesome. Yeah. Scarecrow is kind of disappointing too. He's not, you know, I don't feel the scarecrow atmosphere as I did in Arkham Asylum. Like, Arkham Asylum was scary. Like, those Arkham Knight, I mean, not Arkham, Arkham Asylum, uh, we, every time you countered a scarecrow, it was scary. Like, with the, in the morgue, it was scary. But now, you know, you just see the Joker. Like, I understand if you have, you know, some Joker blood in you for some reason, and you might be seeing him sometimes, but I want to see, you know, I want to see Batman's greatest fear. I don't want to see Joker. The fuck? He's dead. Joker has officially been in all four Batman games. Even in the Origins one. Or Origins is my favorite. The f was my number one favorite. My second one is Arkham City. Third is Arkham Asylum. And Arkham Knight is the last. It's, it's very disappointing, especially if it's their last game. Batman Arkham game they're ever gonna make can you at least add more side missions and you know more more things to do in the city you know I understand you know once you beat everything now what that that's nothing to avoid you, games can't really avoid that I understand that but you get bored way too fast in this game the the only people you're gonna find is on the road not in the rooftops where you can just you know fight them but yeah this, this game's alright, you know, I was very excited to play this game. It was very hard, uh, but yeah, this game's alright, but it still gets a 6 out of 10, and fuck the fans.